Hi, I'm Don from Don Drones On. Today we're going to have a look at two cool new features on the Hover Air X1, this tiny little drone. I love this thing. I pull it out of my pocket and can fly it anywhere, anytime, so fast and easy. It's phenomenal. Anyway, the two new features that have just come out. There's a side tracking capability, so it'll follow you from the side. And we'll show you how that, to do that in a second. And the second capability is a number of gesture controls, which are called smart controls. Let's check it out. So both of these capabilities are available on the custom settings. So you can select them either from your the drone itself by doing a long press once you've selected custom settings, or you can do it from the app. Easy each way. On the app, you can actually select additional parameters, of course, and so, that, so that's kind of cool. You can kind of set it up in advance. So let's start with the follow me capability from the side. So in order for you to see what's going on, I've got the camera quite a ways away. So the, the hover itself is set to custom mode. It's turned on. I want to walk in that direction. So I'm going to turn on the drone. It says standard side track. As soon as the camera starts, I can start walking and you can see that it's following me to the side there. Now, it doesn't follow the orientation of my body. So if I turn this way, it's still going to follow me from over there. And if I stop for three seconds, it's going to assume that I'm done and it will it will do its landing. It'll come back to you and, and start landing. But the cool thing is, is that it's actually quite resilient to obstacles. I'm going to try to get it to go through that swing. Now, if I go down just a little bit and head over this way, oh, it's lost me. Ah, there we go. Okay, it did it. I can't believe that. Have to be kind of careful with your environment when it's off to your side because it might not be in your line of sight all the time so if it gets into the way of a tree and i'll do that i'm going to move the camera down here there's a tree whoops <laughs> so it followed me it it actually managed to get around that tree oh it's lost me So it's not perfect it it you know i find the fact that it, it the fact that it stops when you're uh, when you when you pause for three seconds just a little bit too short um but but pretty darn good and it does follow you around lots of obstacles with a reasonable degree of success might take you a couple of tries to get the shot that you absolutely want let's check out the gesture controls so the gesture controls or smart controls as they call them are cool for two reasons First of all, it's just fun to be able to flap your arms and the drone will do what you want. The second reason is that once you're in that smart control mode, first of all, it defaults to dolly track so that you're automatically able to have the drone just kind of follow you around. But also, it's one continuous shot. So you can do a zoom out, then you can do an orbit, then you can do a bird's eye all in one shot you don't have to have the drone come back to you and you stop and fiddle around with the the buttons on the thing to make it change to a different mode so it's very convenient to get a lot of shots all at once and like i said it's fun so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start out with the uh, um, i'll do an orbit and we'll go from there all right so i've set it to um, custom mode and it's already set to the the uh, smart controls and i've already set the parameters in the app you do have to set the parameters like the distance and things like that for the smart controls in the app and you can set distance for orbits for example or the height whether it's going to be high or low in the app all right let's get going i'm going to step back so i don't hit the camera or not too hard and we'll get started drone's already on so all i do is a short Short press, off it goes. And once it's recording, the red light's on, it's in dolly track mode. So if I move over here, it'll go that way. If I move towards it, it'll back up. 
<laughs> missing the camera by this much. Here it comes back again. All right, let's do an orbit. To do an orbit, you do two waves to your side in the direction you want it to go. So that's clockwise. And it's important to do two waves. It can be a little bit fussy, I, I found. But once I got the, the moves down right, it, uh, it works perfectly. All right, so here it comes around. It slows down, which is so cool. Sort of decelerates. And it'll give me one blink of a white light when it's done. Now I'm going to do two in that direction. Two waves to the left makes it do a counterclockwise. I got that right? Yeah, counterclockwise rotation. And here it comes around. Slows down just perfectly, so it's a nice smooth move. And it'll give me one, one blink when it's done. Now, if I stand still too long, it's going to automatically land. So I won't do that. I'm going to do a bird's eye. Both hands straight up in the air. It gradually approaches and settles it in right over top. And up it goes. There it goes. And you can set the usual parameters about how high you want it to go. There's some tree branches up there, so I didn't want it to go too high. And whether it rotates and things like that. And here it comes back down again. And again, it'll sort of settle itself down right out in front. Perfect. And it'll give me a blink like that when it's done. Then it's back in dolly track mode. So I'm going to have it go over that way, please. All right, right there. And now I'm going to do a zoom out. Two waves with both hands up. And it'll do a, a zoom out. Now I've got it set to flat because there's a tree right there. But it did the zoom out and now it's coming back. And perfect. Now it bl did the blink. I'm going to do start it doing an orbit again. And I'll demonstrate the landing. Two hands above your head. And it'll basically abort your flight, come back, and get you, and put itself in the position to land. I mean, isn't that so cool? So those are the gesture controls, or smart controls as they call them. Totally cool, and, and so much fun to try out. So try those out with the, uh, the new release of the software for the drone. Between the gesture controls, or smart controls, sorry, and the side tracking, Great new features in this very cool drone.